All right. Well, I had such good luck with this um, lead alum um, solder rechargeable battery that I built cell that I decided to go a little further with the project and uh, convert a small motorcycle battery that was uh, basically dead to the uh, almond distilled water. And I took this motorcycle battery here that had been sitting in my dad's backyard for a couple of years. It was dry. Uh, there was nothing, uh, nothing liquid in it. It had still had about 5 volts though even in a dry state so I thought I might be able to bring it back uh, converting it to the alum and water alum and distilled water this uh, pickling alum aluminum sulfate and I was uh, able to get it back and uh, you have to clean it out with uh, distilled water I even use baking soda to neutralize the uh, chemical in it the sulfuric acid and then rinsed it and dried it and rinsed it and dried it and I was able to get it to come back and that's the voltage on it right now and I use this uh, solar panel here, this uh, uh, Goal Zero, John. I have the panel, but not the light that you showed. And this is about a four-watt panel that uh, I'm using with this light that I use over at Catalina. And uh, I was using these uh, rechargeable nickel metal hydrides, which are about 10 volts. So I thought maybe this uh, ALM converted uh, battery would work, and it does. And I'm doing some testing now with it. But um, you have to charge, discharge, charge, discharge to form the plates correctly. And just remember, anybody that's trying this, do not expect to get a 12-volt lead-acid type of battery out of this. This is different. This is a different scenario. It's going to be about 10 volts or so. I don't know how long it's going to run, but it charges up fast. It doesn't have a, a dangerous acid in it now and uh, it has some nice characteristics that uh, I liked but let me show you what's going on here this is my testing uh, device here basically that's uh, one of the lights that I use on this uh, little inverter type thing this is the laser saber super drill ringer 2.0 that peanut butter also worked with and this is what I showed in my video that I used at Catalina and you can see it only draws about 100 milliamps or so um, with this light on it and I can vary the amp draw with this and I can crank this way on up I can make it go way on down and of course that varies the light on it too can go way down or way up with it but I'll put this at about a hundred milliamps uh, which is plenty good light on this particular bulb and that's my my voltage now what you can do with this now is you can watch that voltage drop off and you could take time intervals and log it and chart it and do the old school charting on the discharge curve uh, where John was using a computer I can do this on just graph paper if I want to do it and just take a look at how long it takes for that to drop off and uh, watch my amp draw at the same time but anyway this was my uh, little uh, conversion of the motorcycle battery over to the almond distilled water and I will say one more time do not expect to get a 12 volt lead acid battery 14 amp per hour situation when you do this this is going to be a different situation it's not uh, it's not a bad thing it's just different so everybody's asking well, why would you want to do it what are the advantages well to me I don't have acid in it anymore it's a rather benign electrolyte and I don't think I'm going to have a sulfation problem or anything else going on with that plus it charges up fast off of a very small solar panel so anyway that's my latest on this project uh, hope you other guys are coming along with it good thanks for watching